So I thought I'd do a little recording while I'm out here walking. Uh, a beautiful area down there. I don't know if you can really appreciate the heights. I know sometimes when I look at the GoPro, I'm like, man, I know that hill's a lot higher than it looks on that film. Um, but hiking this trail, I'm definitely on a battlefield. Um, or part of the battlefield. Um, and not only do I get that from the maps, but I get that from a sensation, you know, and, uh, and I don't know why, but I've always been fairly good at identifying areas that are out of the way that are not well known. So I found a lot of little camps and, uh, uh, my partner can tell you, I'll get an itch to stop and we'll go up the side of a hill and sometimes we find stuff. Not all the time, but sometimes we do. Uh, this area just has a feel to it. A, uh, <laughs> I, I can't explain it, but it's, it's really quiet out here. I'm hearing some wildlife. Oh, there's two turtles right here. You see them? Oh, I'm gonna save your life, buddy. I'm gonna save your life. Check him out. Hey, this turtle, oh, check him out. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. He's got himself hung up. I got him turned over, see? See? See, old guy? See? All right. Now you two just get, get yourself situated. He was flipped over on his back, so he would have died. There's no doubt about that. Box turtle. Oh, well. Good deed for the day. Now, good Lord, help me find a Civil War artifact down here. Let's break this cycle that has been going on for a while. I, you know, I, I find a lot of stuff, so I'm not going to complain, but... With this, uh, you know, COVID-19 thing, and I mention that a lot because I want everybody to be safe. So I'm out here in the woods by myself doing this thing. And I want to really show you all some video. Uh, that's constructive. I have almost slipped and fell a few times down here. Like I said earlier, um, I was experiencing a little bit of vertigo for a little while. And uh, I do have uh, a traumatic brain injury related to uh, my service in Iraq. And, um, and I can tell you that sometimes, um, you know, I do get some headaches and, oh, things like that. See, there you go. You almost caught me falling there. Wouldn't that have been cool? You could have seen the metal detector guy fall and bust his hind. I know there's a lot of people that would pay money to see that. <laughs> but not today. Oh, come on. Save that turtle's life. <laughs> that turtle was going to die. He was on his back. That was a good deed. Uh, if I don't find anything, at least I got a lot of exercise and I'm thankful to God for the ability to be out here. So I really am. I really am. I mean, I mean, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Uh, I serve in the Ohio Military Reserve now, so I'm activated for the response to the coronavirus. And uh, I had been retired since... 2009 and and I got this opportunity to come back could it be nope <laughs> and I got this opportunity to come back and and serve on active duty uh, and help people and that's a a really cool thing so I serve as a liaison officer so I'm a major uh, and it's it's a really cool uh, duty assignment. It really is. It's 
I'm doing something productive, you know what I mean? And, and, and helping and, and yes, at times you get exposed to this, um, to this horrible sickness. And, and there's people that are out there that say, oh, well, you know, it's kind of a hoax and whatever. It's not a hoax. It's for real, man. It's for real. And it's not just taking out the older people. So some of you young folks that are out there running around, you know, thinking that it's not gonna get you, uh, you know, be safe. You know, man, there's no sense in, in chance and things. And you don't have to live like a hermit. Look at me, I'm out here in the woods, walking around through this stream, swinging my metal detector. Blessed by God to have the ability to do this at 52 years old. I do get tired though. <laughs> I need a haircut. And I really do. But anyway, so I do this mission and it is, and I'm part of this group of volunteers um, that, you know, wear the uniform, serve, and do it because they want to and because they want to be part of something bigger than themselves. So I know a lot of states have these state defense forces. Uh, see right up here, I'm gonna show you what would have happened to that poor old turtle had I not turned him over. All right, looky there. See, oh Lord. Just a bullet would be fine today. <laughs> uh, but if I don't find anything, oh, wait a minute. Uh, when you get a signal like that, I don't get real excited about it because it usually means it's junk of some sort. Shotgun shell. something, you know, of the sort, but who knows, you know, maybe it'll be something good. Uh, and I was right. Another shotgun shell. That's about the 50th one I found today. Does anybody collect shotgun shells? <laughs> if you do, I got a bucket full of them. <laughs> Now that's a good signal. 66, 69, a little bit different than what I've been getting. But again, because there's so much junk out here. I'm not gonna get real excited about it. I'm not gonna get my hopes up. I'm really not gonna get my hopes up. <laughs> Maybe. Nah, it's, a, it's something. It's something bad. It's something junky. It's been junky all day long. Why would we want to break that routine now? 